Hello everyone. In this demo, I am going to walk you through the implementation of a four-stage recommender system using the Merlin framework. Together with other open source libraries, Triton Inference Server, Feast and Face, this framework provides a comprehensive system that leverages all the steps commonly used in the industry. The demo consists of two notebooks. In the first notebook, we prepare the users and items feature using the Merlin Invitabula library and train and export the ranking and retrieval models using the Merlin models library. The second notebook describes step-by-step -step the inference stage by deploying the four components of the proposed recommender system to the Triton inference server using the Merlin systems library. This demo shows how we make it easy to deploy a four-stage recommender system, including all the best practices used in the industry. So let's get started. We start with importing our required libraries and loading our dataset. For this demo, we are using synthetic data that is generated based on the statistics of the publicly available Ali CCP dataset. So the first step is to train a retrieval model with the two tower architecture. The goal here is to learn users and items representation that we can use for similarity based search queries. So we start by encoding the user and item features using Invitabular library designed for GPU accelerated preprocessing. To train the retrieval model, we only select the positive interactions. Lastly, we execute the preprocessing workflow and save the output dataset by using the util function transform aliccp. The second step consists of loading the data, defining a two-tower model, and launching a training session using the Merlin models library. So here, we use the optimized GPU-based Merlin data loader that reads our Parquet data files directly into GPU to load train and validation sets. We also define the schema object to use for the, for the model definition. Then, we instantiate a two-tower model with the two-layer MLP towers, and we use the in-batch negative sampling strategy for training. In this cell, we compile and train the model for two epochs. Finally, we export the query tower to use it later during the deployment stage. So now we can move to the second section where we train a ranking model with the LRM architecture. Similar to the retrieval step, we start by preprocessing the data and saving it to disk using Invitabular. Then we load the preprocessed data, define the DLRM model, and train it for two epochs using Merlin models. After training is finished, we save the ranking model to be able to load it back at the deployment stage. So at this point, we train the retrieval and the ranking models. We will now create a future store repository using the open source Feast library. The goal of this library is to facilitate storing and saving futures to a machine learning model. For our use case, we use Feast to register the pre-processed input futures and the pre-trained item embeddings for deployments. So first, we initialize the future repository and we remove the default examples from the created folder. Then, we save the user futures. For that, we build the table of unique user futures from the trained data using the util function unique rows by futures. We also associate the table to an artificial date time required by Feast for tracking data versions. Finally, we save them in the future store repository. Here, we do the same for saving the unique item futures. Last, we export the pre-trained embeddings from the item tower to use them later for the INN index. In this final st step, we set up the Python files that describes the configuration of users and items views required by the feast, such as the type of the input variables. In summary, we trained and saved the retrieval and ranking models, created the future store repository, and exported the unique input features and the pre-trained embeddings for the inference stage. So let's move to the second notebook for deploying the multi-stage recommender system. We have now defined the models and features required for the four-stage recommender system. In this second notebook, 
we will connect all the pieces together to deploy the proposed system into production. So we start with importing our required libraries. The following step is to register the users and items sources into fist tables. For that, we simply specify the path to the users and item configuration files and call the apply method. Then, we load features from the offline database to the online local store designed by FIST to accelerate the inference. For that, we use the materialize method from FIST and specify the date range we would like to use for selecting the data. Here, we can see that the offline registry and the online store databases were created. Once our future tables are loaded, the next steps are setting up the INN index with the pre-trained item embeddings, creating the future store client, and defining the Triton ensemble. So for the INN search, we will use the open source paste library. We start by specifying the path for saving the INN index. Then the Merlin systems library provides a utility function called setup face. This function creates the face index based on an empty array containing the item embeddings. Here we get our future store client by using the class future store from feast and passing the path relative to the directory where data views are located. Now that the future online store and the onion index have been loaded, we will define the Triton ensemble that executes the proposed four-stage recommender system. To reduce the complexity of writing the Triton configuration files of such a complex system, we developed the Merlin system library that provides all necessary high-level operators for con connecting the different components of the four-stage system, such as recommendation models, future stores, nearest neighbor search, and exploration strategies. The library allows building the ensemble as a directed acyclic graph and exporting it to a Triton ensemble configuration ready for the deployment. The first step of the ensemble is getting the user's features based on his ID from the online store. So for that, we use the query feast operator that ensures the future store can communicate correctly with the Triton inference server for the future lookups. Then we apply the retrieval st stage to get the top K candidates items that are re relevant for the given user. This is done in two steps. We first apply the retrieval model to get the user's embeddings representation using the predict tensorflow operator. Then we do an NNN search query to get the top K nearby items using the query face operator. Once we retrieve the top K items, we apply a second future lookup to retrieve the item features using the query face operator. Then we join the user futures and the top K items futures to prepare the input data for the ranking model. For that, we use the unroll future operator that allows for broadcasting a series of user futures to set of all items. The scoring step consists of applying a to trained ranking model, the LRM in our case, to the combined futures using the predict tensorflow operator. Finally, the resulting scores are ordered using the softmax sampling operator to allow for the exploration exploitation trader and the final recommendation list is returned by this operator. So here we create the ensemble object that takes as input the constructed graph and the schema representing the starting input of the graph. You can see that each node in the graph is saved in a specified folder with all necessary config files. So at this stage, we have defined the ensemble with all the components and the remaining step is to deploy it to Triton inference server. For that, we start the server using the following com command and we wait until all loaded models have a ready status. Here, we send the request to the Triton server and we want to get the recommendation list for user ID 1. As we see, we get the response with our ordered list of items to recommend. And with a handy utility function, we call the reverse mapping, 
we can easily convert encoded IDs to their original values. So that's it. In this demo, we presented an end-to-end -end pipeline for building a four-stage recommender system and deploying to Triton. For more information about the Merlin framework, please check out our more detailed tutorial on training and deploying multi-stage recommender systems at Rexis 2022. Thank you.